What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here and welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update. What's going on in the United States, Washington DC, money, investing, and the next stimulus package which has been announced at $3.5 trillion and they're in the process of marking it up and putting the bill together and going through the final negotiation stages. Also in this video, we're going to talk about how one of our viewers just got $13,000 in stimulus money and how you could too. We're going to talk about that and how you could also. Pretty interesting stuff there. And we're going to talk about more details coming out about what is in the next stimulus package. And I'm going to show you it directly on the screen. Lots of interesting stuff coming out as we're getting more final details of what is going to be in this next stimulus package as they're moving forward towards the final vote. Very big details on this next stimulus package. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. I will keep you up to date with what's going on in our country, as well as what is going on with this next stimulus package, which is supposed to be the largest stimulus package yet to date. Remember, new videos come out here on our channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, we just released a new video on our family channel, Julian's Adventures, video number two. I will link you to that video at the end of this video if you haven't seen it yet. And if you find these videos helpful, don't forget to hit the like button for us and let's jump right in. Stimulus payments have triggered millions of IRS math error notices. And the same may be looming for the child tax credit recipients. Yeah, check this out. There has been a recent flood of math error notices from the IRS, which has been confusing for a lot of taxpayers and difficult to resolve, financial experts say. The IRS has sent out roughly 9 million of these since January 1st through July 15th, and they're still going out, up from 628,000 from the same period last year. So over 9 million of these have been sent out so far. About 7.4 of million of these notices were related to stimulus payments. Just resolving the problem is a massive problem in itself. As of August 27th, there was a backlog of 9.2 million unprocessed individual returns, including 2020 filings with errors, according to the IRS. So if you're still waiting on a tax return refund or a unemployment refund from the unemployment uh, stimulus tax money, yeah, there's apparently almost 10 million unprocessed individual returns. Yeah. Quote, one of the biggest issues we're having is the reconciliation of stimulus payments. With multiple payment options and limited tracking, there has been a heap of discrepancies between the IRS and taxpayers. Math error notices typically reflect an adjustment to someone's account, such as a balance due, smaller or larger refund. However, some notices may lack important details. The IRS is sending out balance due notices with no calculation or explanation analysis. Moreover, it may take hours to reach an IRS agent by phone to find out the specifics. And contacting the agency has not been easy, but and they're putting a lot of people at an advantage. But really, the only thing you can really do is to <laughs> sit on the phone for hours at a time and eventually reach the IRS if you get one of these notices. But the IRS said if you do get a notice that they are correcting significantly more errors on tax returns than in previous years, and they will send taxpayers an explanation, or you can try to call them if you do get an error notice. So just keep that in mind. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is urging states to speed up the rental assistance fund. Remember, there's over $40 billion in rental assistance that the federal government has sent out to the states from the third stimulus check package uh, or from the third stimulus check package that is still available. And the states have the money. They just need to send it out and they need to lower their criteria for to make this available and to speed up the process. The House of Representatives actually just has a had a hearing, as you can see here. This is actually a uh, live uh, replay of the live stream that they had on rental assistance, trying to figure out how to get states to lower the restrictions and to also send out the rental assistance faster. And check this out. 
One of our viewers who goes by the name of Chris, wanted to keep his last name anonymous, says, sends me an email and says, hey, Jimmy and Laurel, uh, my, and Laurel, my lady, I really wanted to submit this anonymously, but we wanted to say a big thanks and times for the videos. We watch three times a day and you've helped us basically with everything, minus kids stuff, and our child. Anywho, this is the second time I've gotten this. First time I got rent relief, it was for a year ago worth 2019 from HRA one shot deal video you posted, rent assistance. However, so basically he's saying that he got rent assistance for a year's worth of rent assistance from 2019. However, it happened again. I got this bad boy in my email from us, and I blurred out his name. We adore you guys. And we owe you twin lobster tails and lobster mac and cheese. Repeat this again. This is the second time we have gotten this. And here is a screenshot of the, again, I blurred out the um, personal information of him. But he says, this letter confirms that the emergency rental assistance program application for uh, his name is approved. And the total rent, uh, let me take myself out of the corner. I don't know if I'm blocking anything in the corner there. The total rent amount scheduled to be paid to the uh, real estate company, because remember, in the vast majority of cases, it gets paid to the landlord. So it got paid to the landlord for $13,606. I believe this is for one year's worth of rent. And this is the second time that they got rent assistance. Yeah, this is the second time that they got rent assistance. So one of our viewers just got $13,606 in rent assistance. And guess what, guys? There's still like $40 billion in rent assistance available. And you can apparently get it more than once. So this is money that is available in all 50 states. And a congratulations to Chris and his family and I'm going to show you right now how you can get this, how you can apply for this. And uh, you don't even need to get me lobster tails or lobster mac and cheese. I'm literally going to show you how to do this for free. And all it does is take you a little bit of your time. You submit some applications. And each state has their own little bit of different criteria. Some states you need to be behind on rent, but some states you do not. Some states you just need to be affected by the pandemic, which could really just mean anything. Some states, they just ask you, have you been affected by the pandemic? And you could just say yes. Some states, you just need to be low income. They might ask you your income. Some states, you may have to have been on unemployment within the last 12 months. Basically, if you're any of those things, I suggest you um, apply because if you're low income or any of those criteria, you should apply because the states are actually lowering their criteria right now. And um, if you get three months of rent assistance, six months of rent assistance, or 12 months of rent assistance, you can thank me later. And you don't even need to buy me mac and cheese or anything. All you can do is say thank you in the comments and hit the like button for us. Uh, that's what I do. I'm literally here every day just helping you guys with information and stuff like this. Um, I have literally seen hundreds of if not thousands of people that have said in the comments, yes, Jimmy, I have gotten rent assistance. And uh, I don't know if I'm 100% solely to take credit, but I have shown this on the screen multiple times in the past, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay, so I'm going to put these links down below in the description of this video. I'm going to have like two or three different links for you, okay? on how to find rent assistance, okay? This one is from the treasury.gov website, which is an official government website. Um, this one is just, uh, this is a, I don't know who put this one together, but this is an interesting one here. And this one is from hud.gov, okay? This shows you how to find rent assistance programs in every single state, city, and county, okay? You can literally just see every single state, state, city, and county, and you can look it up and go through this and find this. And again, you go through and you apply every single state, city, and county. Do this after the video. Take your time. Go through this. And like I said, there's I'm going to have several different links here for you guys. I kind of uh, 
a little bit off center there. Um, all the states have it. So like if you're in a state here that doesn't have a red dot, the red dots are for different cities and counties. Each state has it, okay? So like you can see these states here, South Dakota and Montana. Um, but all these other red dots are additional city and county programs as well. And um, I'm going to have several different links here for you, okay? These are three very, very helpful links that I have uh, just accumulated over the, the months of doing this work for you guys and uh, that I have accumulated in my research. As you guys know, I do this research every single day and I've come across this and I've already helped out hundreds if not thousands of people um, with this information. And this information could literally get you thousands of dollars in rent assistance. So I suggest you do this. Maybe you have some friends or family that might want to qualify for this or do this. It might take you some time. It might take you an hour or two to do this. Um, but it's well worth your time. It doesn't cost anything. Okay, This is just you fill out an application. Again, it might take you an hour or two to do this. Uh, but if you get rent assistance from the government, this is money from the third stimulus check package for all the states here. If you get six months of your rent paid, uh, it, it's pretty awesome, right? It's free money from the government from the third stimulus check package, okay? Most cases, they pay it directly to your landlord. But in some cases, if your landlord doesn't want to accept the money, in rare cases that that happens, it's not very often, um, then they will pay it directly to you. Again, that doesn't happen very often, but in some cases, they will do that. So again, I will put that down below in the description of this video. If you're on a mobile phone, you might need to click the down arrow next to the title to open up this video, but do that at the end of this video. Um, also, if you have a computer, it might be easier to jump on a computer, go back to this video, and then open up the links in the description on a computer afterwards because if you have a computer, it'll probably just be easier to do that. If you don't, then just do it from a phone. Um, but if you have a computer or even a tablet, uh, just a bigger screen or a mouse just might be easier for you. Okay? Again, completely free. I provide this information to you for free. Doing the application is free. Um, but yeah. As yeah, you've seen there, Chris just got $13,000. I have personally seen hundreds of comments of people that have gotten three months, six months, 12 months. Uh, anybody that gets 12 months is pretty much getting $10,000 or more. Um, even if you get three months, I mean, $3,000 or more of rent assistance, God bless you because it's amazing. So I'm just here trying to help out as many people as I can. I understand not everybody will qualify for this, but this is just one of the different stimulus programs. I also might as well just quickly mention this. I know I've mentioned this in the past, but I'll just quickly, briefly mention this. You can also get $50 per month off your internet bill or your cell phone bill from this website, getemergencybroadband.org getemergencybroadband.org. I'll put this link down below in the description as well. Um, again, right here, you can see get $50 per month off your broadband internet service, which is home internet or cell phone bill, $75 off your bill if your home is on a tribal land, or $100 off your phone. I'm sorry, $100 off if you buy a laptop, tablet, or desktop computer. You apply right here on this website. This is a government website. This is a stimulus provision from the third stimulus check package. You apply here. Once you're accepted, again, low income, a uh, couple different qualifications. A lot of people get accepted for this, but not everybody. Again, I, I personally don't have anything to do with who gets accepted, so don't shoot the messenger if you don't get accepted. But a lot of people do get accepted for this. A lot of people do. I don't know how many, but a lot of people do. Once you get accepted, then you have to contact your um, cable company and tell them. They also have a search tool to see if your company uh, offers the broadband discount. If you're with one of the major, major companies, almost all the major, major companies do, but not all of them. There'll probably be a lot of different stimulus programs like this, hopefully, in the next package. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of different stimulus provisions like this, hopefully, in the next package as well. Hopefully, with a fourth stimulus check, the monthly child tax credits, and hopefully an adult tax credit, which leads us to this. House Democrats unveil plans for array of new tax incentives. Yeah. Tax incentives means uh, saving you money, potentially. Check this out. 
House Democrats are proposing $1.2 trillion in new tax breaks for universities, caring for the elderly, buying electric bicycles, and a host of other incentives as part of the, as part of the far-reaching spending package they are assembling. But even as they are releasing another portion of their reconciliation plan, they did not unveil the touchiest part of their proposal, a much-anticipated slate of tax increases and intended to help defray the cost. Under a 645-page bill released late Friday night, Democrats would also create new breaks, tax breaks for buying electric cars and trucks, making Pell education grants completely tax-free, offering new tax incentives to rehab homes in poor neighborhoods, and providing new tax subsidies for hydrogen, hydrogen electric production. As expected, their tax plan also calls for extending their signature monthly child tax credit payment program, those monthly checks to children, $250 to $300 per month, and making other permanent making permanent other subsidies aimed mostly at low-income people, the adult tax credit. The, yeah, the adult tax credit. The proposals by the House Ways and Means Committee amount to their next tranche of the reconciliation plan, which the panel said it intends to take up on Tuesday. Yeah. The committee said it has been releasing its plan piecemeal, but beginning with the least controversial sections a.k.a. Joe Manchin. <laughs> Joe Manchin. <laughs> yeah, come on, Joe. Let's go. As they try to work out their differences among themselves. Joe. The package released on Friday didn't take on some of the major questions that could be devil Democrats, including how they intend to address a cap on state and local tax deductions. Our proposals allow us to both address our perilously changing climate, create new and good jobs, all while strengthening the economy and reinvigorating local communities, said House Ways and Means Chairman uh, Richard Neal. These proposals expand opportunity for the American people and support our efforts to build a healthier, more prosperous future in, uh, for the country. The provisions would cost $1.2 trillion, according to the official Joint Committee on Taxation, with the child tax credit expansion accounting for almost half of that. It's also a reminder that while much of the focus has been on Democrats' plan to raise taxes on corporations and the rich, they are cutting taxes on many others as well. And the proposal represents a shift away from the last major rewrite of the tax code, the Republicans' Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, the 2017 Trump tax, uh, yeah, Trump tax cuts. Uh, if the law was partially intended to try to simplify the tax code, the Democrats' plan moves in the opposite direction with a welter of new provisions, some with complicated rules. One of the Democrats' most sweeping proposal is also among the least surprising, a plan to extend their recent expansion of the child tax credit until 2025, though they would make permanent provisions making the credits worth up to $3,600 per child per year fully refundable. At the same time, they'd make a number of changes in how the credit works. They also want to make permanent temporary expansions of the earned income tax credit, also known as the adult tax credit, and a dependent care break approved as part of the March stimulus package. They'd also create a new payroll tax break designed to push up wages among the poorly paid child care workers an issue for Neil, as well as a credit worth up to $4,000 for caring for the elderly. Their plan for a long list of clean energy incentives, including multiple provisions subsidizing electric vehicles, offering a $7,500 credit for buying electric cars. Yeah, so basically there's a lot of things being uh, thrown around, and this is just one section of one bill. I know that got a little bit in depth there, but I actually don't even want to go more in depth because this is just one section of one bill and it's all subject to change right now. So um, I wouldn't get too all worked up about it if you like it or you don't like it, because honestly, 
Remember, when the second stimulus check package bill came out and the third stimulus check package bill, even after they wrote the bill, they ended up changing it and adding stimulus items in afterwards. The second stimulus check was actually added in after they wrote the bill, six days before they passed the bill. And the third stimulus check package bill, they wrote the bill, passed the bill in the House, and then after the bill was passed in the House, the Senate completely changed it. They had to remove the $15 an hour minimum wage. They added in the $10,200 unemployment tax break and lowered the income threshold for the third stimulus check. And um, so, yeah, so right now, I don't want to get super deep into details, although, you know, I, I'll read you guys the details when they come out, you know, so you know, see them word for word. But um, that's basically the latest details right now. But Things are subject to change, so even though it's there um, in an article, it's not. Nothing is a hundred percent final until passed in the House, passed in the Senate, and passed by the President. Okay, so keep that in mind. We have a lot of proposals coming in for stimulus checks, um, stimulus items for seniors. We have two different proposals for seniors, an up to one thousand dollar Medicare voucher or check for Medicare, a $1,400 check proposal from the Senior Citizens League. Um, we have all sorts of different stimulus items being thrown around right now. Um, we just had tax credits mentioned there on multiple different phases. So yeah, there's a lot being discussed right now of stimulus items that uh, are being thrown in there as well. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. So in fact, make sure to subscribe down below. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do not miss any videos at this point. You can click this video to watch all the different check amounts that have been proposed recently. And this is my most recent video about Julian's Adventures. Uh, Julian's Adventures number two, our family channel, was just released. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.